Some of the videos, especially old videos uh, that are in interlace format, you see the combing effect error right here. So you can see a bunch of lines over here, as you can see, because they are meant for interlace displays right here. So you can see that this is the video right here. There's some interlace like small uh, combing effects right here. And the more the motion there is, the more the combing effect actually pops up right here, as you can see. And with the help of a uh, shortcut, what you can also do is eliminate those. So in shortcut, you can go around, open out those sort of files right here. Let me just press open and you don't see the combing error anymore. So let me just go around onto the player right here. You don't see that anymore because the deinterlacing happens automatically. And to see how the deinterlace is happening, you can go around onto settings right here and the deinterlacer, you can see that right now it's one field right here. So it's actually deinterlacing using this method. But if you want to change it out, you can change it into linear blend as well. And the deinterlacing happens that way, as you can see right here. And you don't see the combing anymore. And that is how you can interlace it. And if I were to go around onto editing right here, let me just bring this out onto my timeline. So if I were to go around onto uh, the export settings right here, then uh, you can go around, choose around the setting that you want right here and export and you won't see the interlacing anymore. So you can go around into advanced and here you can see that you can change around the scan mode right here. So you can see that the interlacer, you can change that out one uh, um, to best right here. So this is more like for preview for this is high right here. Um, just like that. So that is the deinterlacer being used or you can go around and just uh, choose interlaced as well if that is the output that you want. But I'm just going to go around and select pro progressive right here and click on export and under my desktop let me just go around and save the file out and what happens is that it exports the file and deinterlaces the video file as well. So that is how you can use the deinterlacing setting inside of shortcut. So if you guys learn something as always and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.